Uh, now, Boosie also has a viral video of him getting pulled over. You watch that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, have you ever went off on the police like that? Uh, yeah, when I was younger. Uh, right now, uh, uh, yeah, I got a lot of police disorderly conducts. I got a lot of, <laughs> I got a lot of uh, assault on the police officers by threat. Uh, I got a lot of them. I'm talking about a whole bunch of them. Uh, what I learned is uh, only a fool and a dumb nigga try to hold court in the street with the police. That wasn't a good look for Boosie. That was an immature look. Uh, that wasn't no, it made him look weak as a father. It made him look weak as a black man. Because the strong black men, when they get in front of white folks and they get mad, they know they can't kill this white boy, so they get quiet. Take me to jail, motherfucker. See, the old niggas taught me, nigga. That white boy in that uniform with that badge, he a real killer. You just talking. He a real killer. You just talking, nigga. So when you get in front of him, nigga, you look and see which one's the killers. You look, you listen, and you close your motherfucking mouth, nigga. That's the instruction what them old niggas teach me, nigga. You don't do all that goddamn talking with the police, nigga. They kill us. They kill us. You close your motherfucking mouth, nigga, and you get to that jailhouse and you call us so we can come get you, so we can get you at that white boy cage. But you don't be trying to hold court in the street, nigga. You can buy that case. He a peon worker. Fuck you arguing with him for and you a boss. He got a boss. He a peon worker. The police chief ain't shit, nigga. He got a boss, the city manager, the city secretary, the city attorney. Fuck you arguing with the peasant for a boosted. You a boss. So when you know who you are, you don't argue with the peasants. That motherfucking weak police got his wife on his ass. Got his sergeant on his ass, got his lieutenant on his ass, got the deputy chief on his ass, and got the chief on his ass. And then got city council on they ass. Fuck you arguing with that motherfucker for. And now it make you look weak, boosted. Man, you, so, you got an element about you that now, nah, nigga, when you bark and holler, you ain't supposed to be in handcuffs and letting us see that. No, no, you supposed to go in like a boss, nigga. You're not upset, not in your feeling, but that's the emotional side of the black man. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a L on the black man part. And Boosie, one I, he, you know, he represents for the killer. All men don't none of the killer niggas argue with the police. No, 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 none of the big dogs do that, my nigga. That, that, was, that was little dog behavior. So I, I was a little disappointed in that. But hey, I used to do it, so I can't. I, yeah, yeah, I used to do it, but I was a lot younger. And I done done it during my old age, but I done done it playing the community activist in the name of, you know, uh, but not in handcuffs. I got to walk away. So I got to look strong. I got to cuss the motherfucker out and walk away like a bad nigga. When you go to jail, you don't look strong. Yeah, yeah, only when you can walk away and get in your car. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But when they got your ass and you got to go in that back seat and go there, you yeah, you don't look strong, baby. Yeah. You know, he said, it, I ain't going to lie. That, that shit was funny, though. Like, the shit he was saying was like, the, he said, the first white boy I see when I go in there, I'm knocking him out. I'm and he didn't do it, though. You see, you can't, you can't say that and don't do it. See, when I say, listen, when I say, I'm fit to go downtown and do the food because they took my barbecue pit. You got to do it. When you say I'm knocking out the fur white boy and they get in there and they put you in there with seven white boys and you don't knock out no white boy, the white folk laughing now. See, we thinking it's funny because he tended to the police. But what they saying is he got in there and he let us thumbprint him. No, he didn't go in there and they took the handcuffs off get restrained, he didn't knock no white boy out. That's what the old niggas trying to tell us. Nigga, you just talking. 
they'll kill you, nigga. You talking about when you get in there, you go knock a white boy out. You ain't knock now, white boy out. Nigga, they'll hang you in there like they done Sandra Bland. Shut up, nigga. You just talking. They get you in there, nigga, and put you in that isolation confinement and don't give you your insulin and your diabetic medicine. Who you go whoop, nigga? See, they play, nigga, they used to cut. Come on, nigga. You must forgot where you at. You in America talking to them white folk like that. You must have forgot how they done niggas in Angola. No, nigga, don't pump our people up and you just talking. That's all I'm saying, boost. They don't give you your medicine, that extra meal that they give you in jail, so your insulin can stay balanced, homie, they'll fuck you over. Don't be talking this tough out here, nigga. Them killers, we just be talking. That's why the old niggas say, look, listen, and close your motherfucking mouth and get down there and let somebody know you down here, nigga, so we can come get you. But all that, trying to hold court on the street, stop, nigga. Stop. 